Taco Bell, we've turned tacos inside out. That's right. Ever since its founding in 1962, Taco Bell is a leader in the fast food industry, known for its tasty Mexican-inspired food like tacos, burritos, and corrido, nachos, and is even considered one of the healthiest fast food chains. Serving more than 2 billion customers a year at its 7,000 locations. So today's video we will be showing you some weird facts about Taco Bell. So let's get into it. Taco, nacho, burrito. No, uh, I'm looking for hot dog. All menu items were only 19 cents. They said cents. In its early days of 1960s, Taco Bell's menu only offered a limited number of classic options, including tacos, burritos, frijoles, and tostadas. Each item cost only 19 cents, and apparently customers pronounced them tacos at first, with other menu items included tostadas, burritos, and chili bugas. Employees are never allowed to accept tips. Oh, we're not allowed to accept tips. Not allowed to accept tips. Taco Bell does not allow its employees to accept tips. However, that sometimes changes with each franchise. Some managers will say that employees are never allowed to accept tips under any circumstances. Others will instruct their employees to reject the offer three times and if the customer still insists, they can accept the tip. A few franchises may allow their employees to accept tips under certain conditions, but this is the exception and not the rule. More often than not, Taco Bell employees are not allowed to accept tips while they're working. It took food designers and engineers two years and 40 different recipes to create the Doritos Loco Taco. Fiery Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme. Selling nearly 1 million Doritos Locos Tacos a day in 2012, it's no wonder it took the fast food giant almost two years to perfect the concoction. The execution of the hit menu item posed a challenge for developers in design and recipe. They tested out over 40 different recipes before finally getting it right. Taco Bell got the hottest sauce around. Hottest sauce in the universe. Diablo Sauce, the brand's spiciest hot sauce yet, launched in 2015 on Cinco de Mayo. And it was an immediate hit with pineapple whip freeze lovers and flamin' hot Doritos Locos taco obsessives alike. Taco Bell used to have a burger on the menu. While one of its more famous slogans might be think outside of the bun, Taco Bell did once put a burger on the menu called the Bell Beefer. This curiously named creation was essentially the components of a regular beef taco shoved into a bun. The Bell Beefer was introduced in the mid-1980s, but like many things from the decade, it faded to oblivion. PepsiCo used to own Taco Bell. Taco Bell's success caught the soda giant's eye as early as the late 60s. In 1978 PepsiCo purchased 868 Taco Bell restaurants for about $125 million. It was this sale that began Taco Bell's shift from a regional hit to a national sensation. Taco Bell was sued for its Chihuahua ads. Ooh, with a shell so crispy. Ay ay ay. So flaky. Oh, hurt me. In the 1990s, the phrase Yo Quiero Taco Bell was extremely popular because of the Taco Bell Chihuahua ads. Two Michigan men claimed they were talking to Taco Bell advertising agents about use of their psycho Chihuahua image for television pitches. In June 2003, a federal jury in Michigan ordered Taco Bell to pay the creators $30 million and a federal judge tacked on nearly $12 million more in interest three months later. The Taco Bell Foundation has given away millions in scholarships. College scholarships for winning a science fair? The Live Moss Scholarship, funded by the Taco Bell Foundation, touts itself as being totally different from traditional school funding. Awards for high school seniors on their way to college range and are based on individuals' innovative, creative aspirations rather than grades and test scores. You can visit Taco Bell's Test Kitchen. In 2017, Taco Bell started welcoming the public into its Test Kitchen. It's where the restaurant's most popular items get started. Reservations are closed for now, but keep your eyes on the Test Kitchen website for a seat at the Taco Bell table. Their most popular menu item. Nacho fries with cheese sauce was a smash hit for Taco Bell. 
It launched for the first time in 2018 and has been released several times since then on a limited time basis. The fries are seasoned with garlic, paprika, salt, and onion powder, which pairs well with their gooey nacho cheese. Taco Bell was the first fast food chain to hire women as managers. Founder Glenn Bell spent much of his childhood helping his aunt run her bakery in Washington. Former Taco Bell director of operations John Gorman states that the restaurant chain was the first to hire female managers. He said that all the managers were men in the early days, but they didn't have enough of them. To fill demand, they hired women and became the first restaurant chain to do so. Failing in the Mexican market With stores in the United Kingdom, Spain, Asia and more, Taco Bell has failed to establish itself in the country that birthed its namesake food. In 1992, the company opened locations in Mexico City, then closed them down within two years. In 2007, Taco Bell tried again in Monterey, with the same result. Taco Bell wasn't always Taco Bell. In 1954, Glenn Bell originally created Bell's Drive-In and Taco Tia in San Bernardino, California. It wasn't until 1962 when the name was changed to Taco Bell after Bell opened a restaurant in Downey, California. The restaurant was then franchised in 1964, and it only took three years to open 100 more. Three years after that, Taco Bell went public with more than 325 restaurants. What was once a tiny drive-in restaurant has become a staple fast food chain, and is even considered one of the healthiest fast food chains. Taco Bell's app. Taco Bell's app, called Live Moss, has been downloaded over 3 million times, and its users tend to spend 20% more than those who order with a cashier. Not all Taco Bells are alike. Take a visit to sunny California and you'll find four specially designed Taco Bell restaurants. Each place has a different look, complete with Taco Bell artwork, lavish seating and interiors inspired by the farm-to-table movement no kids menu anymore well we just assumed it was taco bell no i still love it but i'd like something else tonight in 2013 taco bell became the first fast food place to eliminate its kids menu making it the first national chain to do so the decision has been cheered on by groups such as the center for science in the public interest which said Taco Bell is taking a constructive step forward by no longer using toys to encourage kids to pester their parents to go to a restaurant. The largest order ever. The largest order ever included 349 beef burrito supremes, plus 201 chicken burrito supremes, and one crunchy beef taco.